So hi, shalom, shalom, Israel. It's Leah again. This is part. This is part two um, of the video. So we're we're talking about um, the visa to enter into Egypt. If you want to come to Egypt, I don't know about anyone else's country, but you must um, apply for this here uh, visa. And this visa is twenty five dollars. Um, you can get it upon your um, travels coming into Egypt, Cairo, Egypt. Okay, or you can do it online before you leave and pay online $25 and you will have your visa and they're going to stamp that to your passport. Um, they're going to stamp that to your passport when you come in um, into the country. Okay, and that is good for 30 days. And as Brother uh, Dawi Ben Israel said, I will need another one. And the next one will cost $100 per person. And that would be good um, for 90 days. So that's my next mission because mine will be expiring. I've only been here almost a month now. So what you're going to do, if you want to come to where we are, um, you're going to go from Atlanta or D.C., New York, I don't know. Um, and then you're going to travel to Paris or you're going to travel to the Netherlands, or you're going to travel to Istanbul. Um, you're going to be at the airport for however many hours to your next flight to Cairo, Egypt, okay? So you're going to be at the airport. You might as well get prepared. Make sure that your card, your bank card, you can change your bank card. Go to your bank and tell them you want international travel. Tell them um, whatever countries is on your um, ticket especially Egypt because you're going to be here for a while so you can change your international change um, for a year or two years or six months I don't know what you're going to do so that you will be able to use your funds and swipe your card here it's no problem make sure it's done before you take off so because one of my cards I could not use at the airport in France so um, make sure you tell your bank that you want international travel and tell them what countries you will be traveling to. Yes, Olivia. Also about that, um, you'll be at the airport basically because they won't let you out probably because you don't have a visa. Right. So um, I suggest you to, um, if you want, you can figure out a way if you want to get them. Um, where your pin stop is, get the pound girl, like the mommy just said, get the card stuff and just buy snacks because they're gonna, they're not gonna let you out. That's they didn't let us out, probably because we didn't have a visa or of a lockdown. Either way, um, basically when you're at the airport, just be prepared mostly. Be yeah. prepared to be at the airport. We were at the airport for about seven hours in Paris. Um, lots of good food. I even had wine. Yeah. Free. They had a free PS4 you could play. Yeah, they have a free PS4 at the airport in Paris. Um, they have wine. You can buy the best croissants. Good Nutella snacks. Good Nutella snacks. So you'll you'll have fun and go to pay, go through Paris or airport, or you could go through Istanbul, or you can go through the Netherlands. Whichever one works for you. You'll be there some hours. And they will not let you out. I wanted to see Paris, but no, they wouldn't let us out. So the that's the longest flight is going to be from um, wherever you're going, leave, leaving from out of the United States of America to Paris. That's going to be your longest flight. And then from Paris to Cairo, um, only four hours. Or Istanbul to Cairo, only like four or five hours. So your longest flight is from the United States of America to Paris. And they're going to feed you on the airplane. Tell them about the food, Olivia, on the airplane. Where? Oh. The food. The food. <coughs> Sorry. The food. Uh, okay, what they basically give you on this plane, if it's um, an overnight thing or something like that, they're going to give you some headphones and um, a blanket and a bag. And um, then around couple of maybe one two hours later they're gonna come with the tray of food that have the grown-up drinks soda stuff like that yeah i had wine yeah they had a uh, orange soda juice. coffee juice they gave you dinner and breakfast so for dinner it was either pasta or chicken and um it was it was um a good plain good good plain food and um you'll get um a tv screen tv thingy against the other seat so like you could watch a movie or show or whatever and um then they're gonna 
in the morning, you're going to have breakfast. Breakfast, um, I wasn't really hungry, but it was nice. They give you orange juice or coffee or water um, with um, blueberry muffin or any kind of muffin. And just a little something to light you up, but it's not bad at all. And if you, there's the way we got on, it was a big airplane. Yeah, so the airplanes are really huge. So when you do your ticket, um, you can you can book your seating arrangement. I forgot to do that there, and I was set in the middle. And I'm but, I, but I like to sit by the window. I love to see Yahuwah's creation. I love to look out the window. I know some people are scared and they don't like that. But I feel like I'm riding on the wings of the Most High. Who are these that fly as doves, as clouds to their windows? Isaiah 60, I believe. So um, when you do your tickets, you can make your... Um, you can make your seating arrangements for your family or for yourself or for your child and you or whoever. If you want to fly first class, if you got the money to do that, do that. There's okay, okay. nice seating in first class. Yeah, we saw first class. Uh, they have a little gaming thingy there. These privacy seats where you can have your own privacy, where you can lift your legs up and everything. But, you know, we don't need that because we're grateful we're even leaving out of America. Yes. And I was trying to say on that TV thing, if you're in the middle, you have a way better, way better view. Trust me, because through that TV, you can see the side, the other side, the back, and the front of the airplane. And it's really nice. Praise Yah. So do your seating arrangements with your ticket. So we've spoken about how to get your passport. Um, an expedited passport you will get like the same day. I meant to tell you that. Your expedited passport, you will walk out of there with that passport the same day. Um, have all your paperwork. Don't leave anything. And um, get your hotel, whatever arrangements, whoever you stand with. And you're going to get that passport the same day and then you can get ready to fly out. If you're waiting for your passport in the mail, you're going to wait four to six weeks. It'll probably come sooner than six weeks, four weeks. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead and book your flight, your ticket. Um, you can make your seating arrangements. Um, both cases, you will need a COVID test 96 hours prior to leaving. If you lapse the 96 hours, they will send you back. They will sit back. They will um, not do that if you don't have that. So you must uh, have your COVID test. And if you lapse over a couple of hours, Brother Zaija will tell you they sent me away. I was sent away like four times, um, but I had more work to do for the most high now that I understand it. Um, it wasn't time for me to leave yet. And... Who knows when it's time for you to leave? I don't know. But the COVID test, it must be 96 hours prior to departure, and it must be a negative PCR. I'm going to post everything that I've spoken about. I just want to help you um, with how to get out of here. Now, also, Olivia has here some Egyptian pounds. Um, the Egyptian pounds are 15 pounds to one American dollar. That's 15 to one American dollar. Also... Be careful because we, me and mommy has both made this mistake. We were trying to find um, something. So we thought it was 50 pounds, but there are, there's going to be 50 plasters, which is technically worth nothing. So if you have 50 plasters, you cannot spend it on big things as well. So be aware of that. So see, this is 50, it says 50 pounds, but once you have 50 plasters, It'll say 50 plasters instead of pounds. So 50 pounds, um, how much of a U.S. dollar? It's 15, 15 pounds equals one American dollar, okay? So this 50 pounds is not really, it's not really nothing like. In America. It's not really nothing in America. You can get the converter. Um, you can download the converter upon your travels um, from Egyptian pounds to U.S. dollars or from U.S. dollars to Egyptian pounds. Um, you can put that down. So also, um, there it is. That's the Egyptian money. So that's not going to be a problem with money. You just swipe your card. Um, you, it's better off using the Egyptian money versus in the United States dollar You um, when you come out here. Also, I'm going to put Brother Dawid Ben Israel's um, link up here, his Facebook messenger. And you can contact him as well. He's been here two years with his three children. 
um, I'm new here, but your mind should, you should already be preparing in your mind before you get here. You should be preparing yourself in your mind. So, um, what the destination here is, is from the United States of America to Sharmashet, S-S-H, S-S-H or Cairo, Egypt. If you want to see the pyramids like I did and the Most High did allow me to do this, um, if you want to do that, you book your flight from the United States of America, whatever city and state you're coming out of, and you're going to go to Cairo, Egypt. Cairo, Egypt, um, it's busy, 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 busy. So Cairo, tell us what you um, like. Tell us what you like about Cairo, Olivia, Egypt. Well, um, the weather, it was nice and hot. But the air, it was all dusty and stuff. Put a lot of pollution in Cairo. It was all stuffy, like not God. like here, not like no, here in. Beautiful. I could just be not here, like in, this is South Sinai. Yes, so Cairo, Egypt. If you want to go to Cairo, you can stay at the motel, the La Meridia, La Meridia, El Meridia. El Meridia is Meridia. when you get off um, your airplane. If you want to stay in Cairo like I did, you can stay in Cairo, Egypt at a motel for a few days. They aren't expensive, but with this time right now, it might be about 80 bucks. Um, but you can stay at the airport in Cairo um, at the El La Meridia, and the, the food is good, beautiful a beautiful service. hotel. And if you want to go to the pyramids, you can purchase the pyramids while you're out there at Cairo at the hotel. Um, they have a shop that's set up. Um, to take people on tours. So if I were you and I wanted to see some things and not just come straight into the hub, uh, I didn't. I traveled. I I wanted to see the world, and I think the Most amazing. High. I think the it was amazing, right? The child said it was amazing. We, we met some people, Cairo and Charm, that was coming here too. And if we hadn't, if we just went straight here, we wouldn't have known so much that we know now because we met people like um. Yeah, we got to see. Yeah, we met people at the airport that were coming here that we've met up in the town. We got to see some things. So, when you get to Cairo, you can book your ticket from Washington, New York, Atlanta to Cairo, Egypt. When you get off in Cairo, Egypt, um, to, and you get your visa or you already have your visa and you get it stamped, there are three hotels right near the airport. Right there. You, they'll take you right there to the airport. Um, hotel three hotels there and I'll post those hotels there for you and you can stay there and they they do the um, the pyramids if you want to go see the pyramids if you want to ride a horse they will take you to Giza and that's Giza strip and that's where you will go for that's your pyramids uh, for your horse ride if you want to see some um, art anything you want to do so if you want to stay over in cairo for two or three days you ask the most high and if that's how he leads you enjoy yourself so like i said i'll post these things down then you get back on your airplane after you leave your hotel then you get back on your airplane and i need you to get another ticket if you want to travel this way i don't know how you want to travel if you want to come to dahab egypt where i am where brother dawi is you will get your ticket from the united states washington new york atlanta to cairo if you want to see the pyramids if not to sharmashek that's s-s-h sharmashek you come straight into sharmashek now we bought i purchased a separate ticket for charm and we came into Sharmashek, which is on the other side of Dahab. It's on the other side of Dahab is Sharmashek. And it's a beautiful place Very as well. Beautiful. Very beautiful. It's more pumped. It's, I mean, that's not the point, but let me, like we always say, it's more energetic than here. Yes. And um, More resorts. Um, it's more, more. It's just amazing. Sharm. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, we'll be going back to Sharm to renew our visa, and we'll probably stay over there two days or something like that at the Sharm. motel. So, even if you don't want to live in Daha, Brother Dawi, he lived in Sharm Sheikh, which is an hour away. So, um, and Brother Dawi has a taxi, a personal taxi driver. If you want to take the taxi, you can. It's going to cost you, um, I'll put down the price, 600, 550 something pounds. And I'll put the conversion down on how much that is. Or you can do like I wanted to do, was ride in comfort on the bus because I wanted to see everything. And what we did was we rode the GO bus um, from... 
uh, Sharma Shek to Dahab. So there's no plane that comes into Dahab, Egypt. Your destination will be SSH, which is Sharma Shek. Okay, Sharma Shek is on the other side of Dahab. Okay, and that's how I journeyed. I brought my t bought my ticket to Cairo. Then from Cairo, I took another flight, which is an hour away. There is no COVID test needed. That's a domestic flight. You do not need a COVID test to come into Sharm, okay? Once you um, land in Sharm Shek, excuse me, once you land in uh, Cairo, once you land in Cairo, you, you're done with all of that COVID. The paper is useless now. You've made it. You're negative, and that's it. Um, you don't need to... Um, what's the word? You don't have to be in a room all day and all of this and that there. Once your test comes back negative, oh, you they allow you to fly and that's it. Or what was that? Um, I was trying to say get the visa and that's basically it. Get the visa and leave. Yes. If you don't have your visa before you come here, you can purchase your visa at the airport for 25 U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. And they will take that visa and they will stamp it on the passport. Okay, so you got to have that visa and they will stamp it on the passport. Again, that's your visa and it's $25. Yes, you can order that online where you are before you leave or you can purchase it at the airport in Cairo. So from Cairo, you're going to have another ticket. While you're making your ticket plans, you're going to give that ticket to Charm, which is SSH. We stayed over in Charm about four days. You will enjoy it if you want to. If you want to stay over there for one day, get a motel. They aren't expensive if you just want to see the place like I did. Um, I want to see things. And I'm looking for the most high to show me even more. I want to see even more. I, it's so much to see. And I give all praises to the most high Yah. Okay, so I guess it depends on when you're traveling and what's going on in the world. If you're going to be able to do these things, but... The Creator granted us to be able to see some things, and I thank the Most High Yah. So, Sharma Shek, you will catch your bus, you will um, leave your motel, and you're going to go to the Go Bus. Okay, the Go Bus uh, is just uh, 80 pounds. I think that's like 30 US dollars or something. I could be wrong, but I will post that again. And you get on your Go Bus, and it's going to take an hour drive. You'll see all these beautiful mountains and Tell us about the ride to, for you um, from Sharma Shek to Dahab, Olivia. Uh, we did the 5, <coughs> five o'clock p.m. one. Yes. And um, the sun was setting and it was very nice because there were mountains and the desert. They said, um, lady we met, she, she said that um, where we was going, um, this desert is like the road to Dahab. Um, at the daytime, there would be camels there, and it was really nice passing by with the sunset, and it was a nice big bus. Um, it was just a nice ride, and it was quicker than we thought, too. So. Yes, yeah, so nice. when you're coming from, when you're flying from Cairo to Sharm el -Sheikh, it's only an hour flight, and the ticket is like 57 bucks. I don't know what it is now, but the tickets aren't even $100, so it's like an hour flight. Um, you come on, um, you just go get your motel. You can already book it. The, the taxi drivers here are safe. Um, nobody's going to murder you. Nobody's going to take you off and rape you and kill you and beat you up. It's not like that over here in the East. Um, there's more, safe, more safety here than in the United States of America. I can tell you that right now. So those are the ways to travel here. If you have any questions, concerns, um, just text me or uh, leave a message or inbox me. There are no vaccinations needed to enter into this country. Only thing you need is a negative COVID PCR testing. Um, the way you get around here is taxis. See, there's one there. Trust me, they'll be here. Taxis. Exactly when you need it. Taxis are all around um, Dahab, and that's where we are. Even if you want to read about Dahab, let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 1. And that's it. Olivia wants to say something real quick. Um, I was going to say something funny. Like, so we live in, well, we live near Osala, like down the street from us and stuff. So there are a lot of cars because the markets are all over there. Can I show them real quick? Markets are all over there, and that's basically like the city area. Now, the blue hole is behind these mountains. And the blue hole is a real big hole um, known throughout the world. It people was, people was, come here for diving. The blue hole is down the street from us. 
Yes, and the way it was created was um, an asteroid or a meteor, something like that, those big rocks that hit the world. You know what that is? Okay, that so we're not it. divers, but it is down here. So um, you can turn to Deuteronomy 1 1 and you can read about the Hav right there. Um, these are the words which Moshe spoke unto all Yisrael on this side of the Jordan in the wilderness. And as you can see, we are in the wilderness of the people right here. Um, you have a lot of Russian people here. You have a lot of uh, you have a lot of people from uh, Italy, Russia. Ukraine. Um, the Ukraine. So this is the wilderness of the people. Um, these are the words which Moshe spake unto all Yisrael on this side of the Jordan in the wilderness in the plain over against the Red Sea. That's the Red Sea between Paran, Tophal, Lavin, Chesro, and Dahav. That's Dahav right there. Okay, so De Deuteronomy 1.1 1, 1 is where we are right now. This is a country right here. Um, um, it is an Islamic country, and I give them more. They got more respect than any Christians any day. Okay, you don't see women walking around here with they behind out. You see people covered up. Um, the even men, in the cartoons. even in the cartoons, yeah, the men run the east over here. You see the men working. Um, men work. Men cook. Men clean. Men do all of that. I hear that's what you are gonna find out here. Is the men run? It's a man's world out here. It's not a woman's world like in the West. The men do this here over here, and they do a very fine job um, at keeping this country clean. Um, there are no banks open in South Sinai on Sabbath day, Friday, Saturday. Now, when you go into Egypt and the Cairo, everything will be open Saturday and Sunday. Mon Sunday, the uh, money gram. The bank will be open Friday to 5 o'clock, but the bank here in South Sinai don't even open on Friday. Okay, not even a money gram on in Sharmashek or in Dahab will be open on Friday or Saturday. Okay, you won't see that here. So this is a beautiful place. It's quiet. Um, nobody bothers you. Their safety. Little children. They run around being little children. They have their hop shoes off. Trucks. They hop on trucks. They're happy, um, and they're just happy little children. This is a. This is. This is. This is where the Creator led me. And my child right here and the tool he used was my brother Dawi and that's the mountain right there that I prayed at um, I was praying over there and then the Most High blessed me um, with a place to live over right here there. right in front of the ocean so if you want to come on um, and enjoy um, this side of the world um, because the Creator did tell us to flee in Jeremiah 51 and I did meet an American woman um, it looks like she's a mixed woman, and I met her over in Giza, uh, Cairo over there. And she said, are you fleeing America? Are you fleeing? She said, because I'm fleeing, and I'm never coming back, and I'm trying to tell my family they think I'm crazy. So um, that's what this walk is. It's not for everybody. Uh, everybody's not going to leave America. Everybody's not going to leave the plantation. Um, but if you want to leave, the first thing you must do, and the first thing you must do is call on the Most High and ask the Most High to lead you to Zion, to lead you out of the United States of America. You ask the Most High first and you follow the Most High. I don't care if you're coming alone. I don't care if you have a baby, a child. It's nothing to be afraid, afraid of. Or children, as my child said. It doesn't matter. There's no fear when you're walking with the Creator. Just obey the Most High. Trust and depend on Him. Now, don't load up with a bunch of things that you will have to throw away at the airport. Putting in your suitcase. Make sure your suitcase. Um, check up on the luggage weight. Make sure you don't have liquid things in there because they will make you throw those things away. Um, let's see. Uh, just be on time. You miss your flight. You might be able to catch another one or you might not, okay? Uh, let's see. And another thing is um, this country right here in the wilderness, we can build as a people. We can build. Um, there's a lot of things to be can be done right here. It's a lot of tourists from all over the world that come here to go diving down there at the blue hole right there. Um, my thing is I want to do some kind of fruit or some kind of candy apple, some kind of business idea you can do here. Uh, we need fishermen. We need our brothers who like to fish. 
We don't want to purchase everything from these people that are around about us when we can build our own community. Um, Brother Kaziya, come on out here and fish. I spoke to you today. All of this water, they fish at 4 in the morning, get you a boat. Come on. Um, we could build our community right here. You get your place over there. I get my place over here. Now, apartments or housing, um, you could contact Brother Dawib in Israel. You can find an apartment for 280 U.S. dollars. 200 US dollars, 300 US dollars, 400. If you want oceanfront, um, $600 a month, yep, for a one bedroom, contact me and I'll speak to my landlord if you want to live on the ocean right here. But this place is big enough for every Hebrew who wants to come out of America. You don't need all that paperwork to get a house either. The only thing that is paperwork is the trust. Yes, yeah, so you don't need, there's not paperwork to be filed and sign this and Make sign sure that this. there. I need this, I need Sign ID. this, I sign need that this, for a paper that. and an ID. The only thing they may ask you for is the passport and the cash. And some people don't even ask you for a passport, they just want the cash. And that's your apartment, okay? <laughs> for you. And, and if you're ready to pick up and move, if I want to leave this apartment and go somewhere else after 30 days, I can. And everything is just like Brother Dawi Ben Israel said, it's just like he said. Um, there's no rape here. There's no murder. Um, little children are being raped, murdered. Women, old men, you don't hear gunshots, any of that there. It seems like... You don't even hear the police. You don't hear that. They ride up and down the street, and everybody is happy, and they try. They get along very well here. The only thing pressure you may get is the pressure to buy something. Everybody wants you to buy something oh, yeah, or yeah, jump yeah. into excuse their tag, me, uh, me, taxi cab. Mm -hmm. excuse, they'll be like, excuse me, excuse me. Taxi, 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 taxi and then they might even and follow you but it's fine but i was gonna say um what if a, if you get hit by a car here it doesn't even seem like it'll hurt because you could stand right in front of a car they won't even honk at you you could just still walk by you could be two meters away from the car you might get hit by it and it looks like it, it i bet it feels like it doesn't even hurt when you get hit by a car here. all right so there's some taxis coming down the street right there they aren't expensive it's 30 See? 30 pounds 20 pounds but we as a people we need our own vehicles um the I'm most up. the most high is going to bless us to have our own transportation so we don't have to pay these people and we're going to have our own drivers. I don't know what y'all's going to do. children hop on those things right there. They could just hop on the taxis. Those are the taxis right there. That's a taxi. The children, the children here just hop on the back of them. Yeah, that's just a taxi. You just, you know, or, you, or it's a van. Um, but this country is beautiful. Um, don't mind the hype and people trying to get you afraid and scared. Just walk in humility with your Elohim. That's what I did. I, I've been on this journey now for six years and four years um, traveling from Miami, Florida with my child from Miami, Florida. I lived in shelters uh, all the way from we left out of St. Pete to Virginia. Um, when we got in Virginia, Hurricane Irma was two weeks behind us. Um, we lived in about four cities in Virginia, about four cities in Florida. And then the Creator, um, there's another van right there. That's you a know, tour. tour van. Um, the Creator moved us to North Carolina. We lived in Riley, Smithsville, a couple of other cities. And um, my purpose for living in shelters was to tell the people who y'all would send my way to wake up. We must return turn to the law, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High, um, and J-E-S-U-S -S is not real. So that's what I've been doing, and I praise my Creator for uh, releasing me and my daughter from out of the United States of America because I was tired, so I'm enjoying the rest. So praise Yah, no. and I wanted to say also that here is the letter um, that Brother uh, Dawi Ben Israel wrote, um, and this letter is also in a song, and it's posted on my YouTube um, and this here uh, video is going to go out, but I hope you um, you all have enjoyed it. And once again, um, if you can donate to support the um, journey, if you can donate, um, you can send it to the cash app a.fishler or you can money grandma. us. Um, any little bit will help. I'm a widow and it's just me and my daughter. Um, there's no husband. It's only us walking with the creator. Um, anything can... Anything you can do, do, yeah, yeah, is my husband. But anything you can help with, uh, would bless us and help us to continue on the journey as we try to 
We're headed home to Zion, but we need some kind of business or something to start so that we can have our own funding coming in. Um, and we won't have to depend on these other nations round about us. Um, Brother that we wrote this letter and this, this has been sent out to the United States of America government. Um, and if this video um, goes out, you all have a yali day and I will post everything I said um, about how to travel. In the link in the description. We're uh, going to post yes, all the links. Yes, we will. All Praise the links Yah. Are in the description. Um Yahweh the Holy One of Israel, to the president, state governors, House of Representatives, and to all United States government officials. We the representatives of the nation of Israel, we would like to take this time to inform all United States government officials that Yahuwah, the King of Israel, the the Holy One of our forefathers, Avraham, Ishkak, and Jacob, has come to redeem his chosen people, to save his people from oppression, and to deliver us from the land of our captivity, to restore righteousness and in the kingdom of Yahuwah on this earth forever. The children of Israel, the so-called African-American Negroes, descendants of the transatlantic slave trade, were brought to the United States of America to serve as slaves for our um, to serve as slaves. Uh, Yahweh has raised up his servants to direct our journey back to the land of Israel by way of the wilderness in reference to um, Ezekiel 20, 33 through 38. Our mission is to establish order under the law, statutes, and the commandments of Yahuwah the King. Furthermore, to bring peace, righteousness, and stability on this earth as well as build Yahuwah's third holy temple in Jerusalem upon his glorious holy mountain. Yahuwah's word has gone forth and will be established and in doing so all the nations of the earth will serve Yahuwah the king in peace 